everybody, it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon. I got a few requests from you guys about wanting to a companion planting video for squash. So today I'm gonna go over the five plants that are amazing to pair with squash, plus one that is really great to plant right before squash to help out too. Summer squashes are some of my favorite things to grow. I absolutely love them because you get so many zucchinis or yellow squash, whatever it is that you grow of summer squash, you get so many of them. I love it, but as long as you can battle all those pests from them, which they can be kind of pesky. <laughs> so today we're gonna talk about what the best plants to plant by your squashes are to help repel pests and just help with the overall health of your plants too. The first companion plant that I want to mention are beans. Beans are a fantastic addition for any of your summer squashes that you're gonna be growing. You can grow them up a trellis next to them, or you can do some bush beans too. Either way, they're going to be super beneficial for you. Beans are a fantastic companion plant, not just for your summer squashes, but for a lot of plants. And beans, whether it be pole beans or bush beans, they are both fantastic by pulling the nitrogen out of the air and they bring them down into the roots. So then what they do is they release that nitrogen into the soil, which really helps, especially for plants like the summer squashes, which are heavy feeders, it really helps them thrive. So I highly recommend planting your beans next to your zucchinis if you get a chance. The next plant that I wanna talk about are radishes. Radishes are really good for a variety of different reasons. They help the soil. So what radishes do, especially the daikon radish, if you have not tried daikon radish, you definitely need to try those. Those are really great companions for your summer squash. They are really good at breaking up compact soil. They are really good also at getting rid of some pests. Radishes are really good at fending off a lot of a lot of different pests such as like the cucumber beetle, aphids, and those dreaded squash bugs. So next I want to talk about nasturtium and marigolds. These two I'm going to pair together because they work very similarly for your squashes and they work very similar to help out with different pests. So especially nasturtiums here, they are fantastic at repelling squash vine borers. So if you have any issues with squash vine borers, plant some nasturtiums around your squash plants and see if you can help with that. And also the nasturtiums and marigolds help with all other various pests too. And they work as a trap plant pretty much. So if any pests find the marigold or nasturtium, instead of going to the squash plants, they're gonna go to the flowers instead. So it helps to protect your squash plant by sacrificing themselves. Another good category of plants that are really good to plant around your squash plants are mints. So these are really fragrant and they help to disguise your squash by, because the smell is so strong too, it helps to throw them off and it's known too to improve the flavor of the zucchini, which is interesting. So they help in a variety of different ways. The only warning that I will give you about mint, if you've never grown it before, make sure to plant it somewhere that either you don't mind it taking over because <laughs> it will grow and spread like wildfire. So you need to be careful with it. But if we, what, what we usually do is we plant it in small containers or a place where we don't mind it taking over. And then we can surround that zucchini or squash plant with it and it'll help to repel it, but still keep it under control too. The other companion plant I wanna mention is dill. Dill works in a number of different ways. Again, it helps to repel pests, especially if you're having issues with squash bugs, aphids, things like that. It can really be helpful for your plants. And it also can help too to bring in a lot of beneficial pollinators. So butterflies and bees and things like that. So it can really attract those into your garden too to help out your squash plants. And as promised, my bonus tip that I have for planting any sort of zucchini or squash plants, especially if this is your second year or more and you have had issues in the past with squash bugs, I definitely recommend doing this step. So this is something that we have done before and it has worked wonderfully and it's kind of fun too. So what we do, we plant blue Hubbard squash, 
which is a winter squash. So if you get the chance to grow it all the way, I recommend it because they're supposed to be really tasty, but we've only grown these to the juvenile stage. So what we do, we plant these a few weeks before we go and plant out all of the rest of our zucchini squash. So we plant them out and that way the all the squash bugs are gonna find them because something about this variety really attracts these squash bugs. They love it so much. So they all go, the squash bugs all go to this one plant and they're laying their eggs, they're going crazy on it. And what you do once you feel like you have a lot of them, you go through, chop it off at the base, make sure you get everything, all of the foliage. And what we like to do is have a fire going and we drop that plant directly in the fire. <laughs> and that way, all the eggs, all of the little bugs, they are all gone. Something else you can do if you can't have a fire in your area is put them in like Ziploc baggies or something like that. Make sure that they are sealed and put them in a trash can directly away from your garden. <laughs> Make sure it's not anywhere close. But if it is in a sealed baggie, they should be good too. So that way, all of your squash bugs went there first thing in the season and hopefully you got rid of the majority of them and you will have a successful year going and planting your zucchini and your yellow squash all of that so that is just the one bonus tip that i wanted to mention also in case you were having any issues with battling squash bugs i want to mention also if you haven't downloaded our free app yet make sure you check it out from seed to spoon it's available for download in the ios and android stores and it'll help walk you through all of this so all you need to do on there you would pull up summer squash for the plant that we're talking about today and you go up to the friends tab and it'll give you a long list of all of the different friends that it has in the garden things that it would be helpful to plant with and also along the same lines it talks about the enemies things you should not plant next to it too so if you ever have trouble remembering what to plant with other plants what to not plant next to each other it's a really great resource for that and you can have that right there in your pocket in the garden so make sure you check that out if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to let me know. Or if you have any video requests or anything like that, please leave them in the comment section too. And I will get back with you. Maybe your next suggestion will be my next video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everybody. We'll see y'all next time. Bye.